Hello everyone, welcome back to Growing Green and today I'm going to be doing my first ever product review for you. The product is going to be this. This is the Yates Conqueror Spraying Oil and the reason we're going to be using this is because I have a mealybug problem. I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of keeping this plant um, with the mealybugs on it for probably over a month now just so I can show you the real difference it makes or doesn't make. So I've purposefully been letting the problem get worse. It's really ugly and I've had to look at it for a month but now we're going to fix it right up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all of the dead leaves on it so I can see the real damage. Alright, now I'm going to give you a close-up shot just to show you how bad the problem really is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ew. That's so disgusting. Poor plant. Look at that. Yuck. Okay, so now I'm going to read you in the instructions and for indoor plants it says 5 mils of this per 200 ml of water. It says apply with a soft cloth, but I'm going to give a go at spraying it. So let's take this inside and make it up. Actually, a cloth might be a better idea. So as you can see it's already looking quite a bit better. I've done as much as I can with the cloth and just rubbing them off. Uh, there are little bits in this plant that you obviously can't reach with the cloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the rest of it just into the centre of the plant. So hopefully that will kill off the rest of the mealybugs. Just a quick fact about this plant, this was the first ever plant that I was given when I moved out of home from a friend. So that's it for now, I'm going to put it in my garage and leave it to sit for a week just to see how it goes and then I will come back and either give it another coat or show you an update. Hello everyone, I'm back again, it is now a week later and I'm going to give you a little update on how it's looking. So from a glance, as you can see, it is looking extremely healthy. The leaves are nice and dark and green. When we go closer up, as you can see, it is mostly still all gone. So what that means is that the product definitely does work. What I'm going to do now is I am going to give it another coat of the product just to make sure that all the little bugs that did survive are dead and I'm going to leave it for another week and then come back. Alright, so now the second coat is on, I'm going to give it a quick water because I'm sure all the chemicals and whatever is in it 
isn't good for the roots so I'm going to give it a good water and then I'm going to leave it in the garage for another week and come back with another update. Hello everyone, I'm back again with my final update for you on my Mealy Bugs. Now it's actually been around about a month since I last did an update, that's because I thought that it would be better to leave it for a little bit longer just so you could see how it lasts long term. So I'm looking at it now and I have been honestly sitting it in my garage ever since I did the last lot of treatment because it is December and our Christmas tree has gone up so I've been keeping it indoors in the same kind of environment. It looks like all of the Mealy Bugs are gone and they've stayed away which is fantastic. I'll bring you in for another close up look. So as you can see the product has definitely done its job and it's kept them away for quite a long time. I don't know if you saw but in one of the shots you could see a little mealy bug and he's dead and it's fantastic. So yeah, and now I'm going to put it back in the garage. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already make sure to check out my Instagram and give me a follow on there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload. And leave me a comment letting me know whether you've had any problems with mealy bugs before and what you've done to help them out. I will be posting updates on everything I do here on YouTube on my Instagram story, so make sure you follow that one. Thank you very much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed this video and got some useful information out of it. 